Hi, welcome to the Forest of Arden. My name is Chris Ryan. and today we're talking all about shot shaping. And I've got a fantastic little exercise that you can do during your practice, which is gonna definitely help you better understand what you need to do in your golf swing if you are to curve the ball different ways on the golf course. So even if you're the golfer who maybe feels that this is a little bit too advanced for you, don't feel like you're at the stage where you want to curve the golf ball, I still believe that including this type of drill into your practice is beneficial to your game. It's just going to give you a better understanding about how you can control the club path, how you can control the club face, what that in turn does to the golf ball. And I just didn't think that golfers out there who are looking to improve need to have an element of almost experimental stages in their practice where you are messing around with you know, different paths, different faces. I think that's just gonna help your skill level increase and ultimately it's gonna help you perform better on the golf course. If we continue to do this and we get comfortable with doing it, we then can take it to the golf course. And when those flags are maybe tucked on the left or the right hand side of the green, we've got some amount of knowledge and some amount of skill in how we can get that ball to that flag. So what are we gonna do and how have I set this up? Well, you notice that I've got two alignment sticks in the ground and they are basically just set at about the same angle as my golf club i'm using a, a six iron here and they're just pretty much level with the heel of the golf club so if you took the heel of the golf club and a line back and a line forward those two alignment sticks are on that sort of line now if i was looking to hit a pretty straight shot and that would be a straight shot with no curve then i would be looking for as i swing down my golf club to sort of match these two alignment sticks. So pretty close to it here, and then again, pretty close to it here. Now, I did a video uh, entitled Aim Your Swing a few weeks back. That kind of relates to how this would give you a straight shot. I would definitely recommend you checking that one out if you haven't. I will put a link in the description box down below, so maybe go and look at that video first. But if we're looking to curve the ball, we're looking to make that ball curve left to right or right to left, we really need a couple of things to change. We need the first thing to be the club path to change, which is the direction that the golf club is traveling in. We also need, relative to that, a different club face position. Now we can have paths which are left, paths which are right, and then relative to that, we can have club faces which are left and club faces which are to the right. And how we kind of arrange those different elements is going to give our shot its curve. So what we're really gonna do in this little exercise is talk a little bit about the club path. So if I was looking to hit a fade, that's a left to right shot for me, I would need my club path to be some amount to the left of the target. If I was looking to hit a draw shot, a right to left shot for me, I would need my club path to be slightly to the right of the target. We can use these two alignment sticks to help us visualize what that would be like. So let me just go through what, would a, what a straight shot would look like. A straight shot would look something along these lines, where as I'm coming down, you can see my club shaft is pretty close to the alignment stick here, and as I swing through, it's going to run pretty much up the alignment stick on the way through. Now, if I was gonna hit a fade, I would really need my golf club to move through this gate, if you like, on a slightly different path. So very much from the outside of this to very much the underside of this. Now for me, what would I need to do to achieve that? Well, the first thing I would really do is I would actually just change my body alignment. So if I were to select something up the left-hand side of this, uh, this hole here, so I'm gonna pick one of the trees at the left, and I'm gonna take my alignment to that tree. Now, because I've changed my alignment, what you're gonna notice now is if I try to make my normal goal swing, the golf club is going to be very much above this alignment stick, and as I swing through, it's going to be very much below the one on the way through. So what this has really done for me is it's aimed my swing more to the left of my target. And you can imagine if I was looking to do the opposite, I would pick something on the right-hand side of the golf course, maybe the, the tree over there, as I aim at the tree, and again, make my normal goal swing, I'm now working more from the inside of this alignment stick to the outside of this alignment stick. So I can use this little station to help me aim my swing differently and control my club path. Now, at the start of the video, I emphasized that this was gonna help you understand how to make th those changes. We have to appreciate that everyone's golf swing is different. So some of you who are out there may well struggle with a fade or a slice at the moment. What you can almost do is you can figure out what you need to do to hit that draw. So for example, if I'm a golfer who naturally comes over the top and I move across the golf ball and I fade it. I could aim my body to the right, such as this. So I'm picking a tree at the right hand side, but if I do my normal golfing, which I come over the top, 
you can see how my golf club is now actually working pretty much in sync with these alignment sticks. So even though I've aimed my body to the right, that's not going to give me a draw because I still can't get my golf club to move through the gate in this fashion. So if I'm a, you know, a hard slicer of the golf ball, I, I move the ball left to right, I may well have to stand a long way aiming to the right to allow me to come over the top yet still create my club path moving from in to out or underneath to over. So what we're going to get you to do initially is actually just take a setup in this little practice station, no golf ball, and just make some adjustments to your starting position to see what you need to do to be able to get the golf club to move from underneath to above and then the opposite from above to underneath and you're going to have to change your your posture uh, sorry your alignment your aim all these different things to get that to happen it's a little bit of you experimenting with what your goal swing has to do and how your setup and alignment has to change in order to achieve that all this is going to do is it's going to give you a path which is either to the left of the target or the right of the target we then have to adjust the club face accordingly if we're to get that ball to come back so if i do swing my golf club to the right hand side I would need my golf club to be slightly close to that path in order for it to curve back and vice versa if I swing to the left I would need my club face to be slightly open in order to get that ball to come back. We can experiment with those a little bit later. This little exercise is more about understanding what you have to do to get your club path pretty good. So if you take my golf swing for example, my natural golf swing would be to go up and to swing from inside to outside. That's my normal swing. So if I aim left to play a fade so let's say here, my normal golf swing would still come from underneath and through here. So you can see that that would not really give me a fade. I can't get my golf club through that gate from out to in because my natural tendency is to move the golf club on a different path on the way down. So I have to stand a long way left in order to hit a little fade. Yours may be slightly different as well. So it's really a case of you jumping out practice area, back garden, wherever it may be, and just experimenting with this little idea and seeing what you have to do. Right, I'm going to hit two shots. I'm going to hit a draw and I'm going to hit a phase. So I'm looking to get the golf club to move differently relative to these alignment sticks and let's see if we can get that ball moving. Now, the draw first. This one for me should be the easy one. I'm going to go pretty slow speed here and I would advise you do the same to begin with. Okay, that ball definitely drew. And then we're going to do the opposite. We're going to try and move the ball the left to right through the air. So this one for me is a little bit harder, but I'm going to go and try and swing through the sticks slightly differently. Okay, and that one definitely faded. Now, both of those are quite extreme, um, probably a little bit too much draw, a little bit too much fade. But if I'm getting someone to understand path, understand phase, the relationship, I would generally get them to make some you know, relatively extreme ball flights, get that ball curving quite a lot from right to left quite a lot from left to right. Learn what the path and the phase do, learn how to control those, and we can always refine those skills a bit later and hit little softer movements. Plus, the more extreme you make them, the more you're gonna be away from these alignment sticks, and that's definitely gonna be safer. So try this in practice. Back garden is great, down at the drive range is great. Just get a good understanding about what alignment can do at setup and how that can change the path of the club. You can then tweak the club face and you can get that ball moving left to right, right to left. I think it's a fantastic way to practice. I think it enhances your skill. I think it develops your ideas about the golf swing and how the path and the face go together to create that ball flight. So hopefully that is helpful to you. Let me know in the comments box. Love to hear your thoughts, whether that's something you've done before or whether it's something you think you're gonna try and do going forwards. I think it will help you play some better golf out on the golf course. Thank you for watching. Usual stuff is down below. You know where it all is. Comments box down there. There's a like button. Give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. That really does help me. There is also a link to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber of my channel, I would advise you to do so. There's more videos just like this one coming each and every week helping you play some better golf. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.